Hello and welcome to this tutorial on HTML and CSS. Yeah, today we're going to learn to create this website right here. All right, so it's a pretty basic uh, music website with uh, songs here, header, a few images and some songs here. So let's dive in and create this awesomeness. So to do this, we will need uh, Notepad. So let's uh, open Notepad right there. So if you have no idea what HTML and CSS are, please watch my previous videos because I explain all that in detail. So to start with, uh, let's create a style tag. This is where we'll put all our styles. So the opening, it's the opening and the closing style tag. From there, let's create an opening body tag. Let's create a closing body tag like that. So this is where the content will be. Let's create a div in here and another div there. So div is uh, short for a division. Now this div is the main div, so let's give it an ID of, uh, I'll call it wrapper, because it wraps everything inside. And yeah, we are getting somewhere. So let's save this. So let's go to the desktop and create a folder. Let me call this web. Let's go web. And let's save our homepage as index.html. Make sure we select all files down here and save. And we're in business. So the first thing you notice on this website is that there's a header. Okay, this part we call the header, and this is the content below. So let's begin with the with, with the header right now. Okay, so let me go back here and say uh, let's create this div. Let's create another div called header. Okay. So to name a div, we just give it an ID equals header like that. Okay, and we are good to go. And now we know how to bring images uh, by now, but uh, the thing is we have to make sure our images are in the same folder as uh, our website. So this is web, the one we created with our content in there. So let me open this other one which has the images and copy all these images. Then let me bring them in uh, web and paste. Let me paste these guys in here. Okay, so as you can see, I, I got these images from the internet of uh, popular artists and I named them one, two, up to 10 and the header is uh, the one in the header is named header and these are square images meaning the height and width are exactly the same so you can find such images on online so to start with let's bring an image in the header like that using source let's close the image tag so let's name it header.jpg that's the source of the image so let's check that out what happened when we did that oh and by the way let's uh let's open up our our website that we're creating and there we are okay so we have one image that we've added in this notepad okay looking good so far so let's give it a style for example I want it a little bit smaller so we'll give it a style with oh no let's do with the height instead let's say 250 pixels okay like that yeah much better now I want the header to have a background color like this one of uh, red so let's do that right now. Now let's go to styles in here and create an actual style using pound or hash header like that. Why are we using pound? It's because we are talking about an ID. So the website will look for this ID anywhere and or uh, yeah, ID, but the ID is here, ID header there. So whatever we add here will affect this one. So let's do that real quick. Let's say background color. So let's use RGB values, okay? So now to quickly find good colors, what I did was I went on uh, Google and Googled um, Google Images and typed vibrant color palettes or palettes. So I got these results, but I liked this one right here. So I went ahead and copied this image uh, onto my PC. So what I'm going to do now is go to where the image is and open it with... Uh, no, uh, paint actually so I'll just click edit and it opens automatically with paint so what I want is this maroon right here or red so I'll go here and click the color picker and click on the color then the color will be selected but then I'll go to edit colors because I want to see the information that creates this color so the red is 255 green is 70 blue is 39 so these are the values that create this color and I will use these values as the RGB so R was 255 the other one was 70 and the last one was 39 so let's see what effect that has on our website and voila you can see it right there so let's put the title I'll just copy from this uh, previous website we go right here in the header a uh, div and paste that text Boom, like that my website and as you know if we don't put any breaks in between the text you see the text right there 
it's uh, in one line like that but we want it on uh, two lines so we add a break tag like that and you see it becomes two lines but still this text isn't looking too cool so let's deal with this right now to start with how do we deal with it let's define a font first of all so how do we do that let's uh, let's let's do that in the body so that everything else we type will automatically have that font so I'll create body here now I'm not putting the pound as you can see because I'm talking about a tag and not an ID so tags you don't put anything at the beginning it's just body so it will affect this body and since the body contains everything everything will conform to the rules in here so one we want is called font family right there and font family I want is Vedana that's the, the font I want Tahoma like that now the reason I'm uh, you can put as many as you want here separated by a comma so that if the website doesn't find this first one it will go to the next one and so forth okay so right there you're going to see the font has changed on my website very cool the next thing I want is to go back in the header uh, style and give it a color of white so RGB now white we all know is a maximum of all three colors which is 255 255 and so on so that gives us pure white and there we are but the font is too small so let's give it a font we say font size is equal to let's give it 30 pixels like that and voila the font size is much bigger but we want it floating here so what we do is we make this image because this image is obstructing the text we make it float so you see what I mean uh, in a minute so let me go to the image the image is right here and we already defined a style so let's just add more styles to it and say float left right so if I do that you see the image is floating on the left side I can tell it to float right as well so let's check that out float right and it's floating on the right side but I prefer left so we'll leave it at that but now we have a problem because the header div is not reaching the bottom why because this image is floating so it has no reference below this image so what do we do how do we sort this problem out we put a break tag at the end like that <coughs> excuse me so the break tag doesn't seem to have changed anything that is until we add a style to it so let's add a style of clear now clear will clear any floating items or either the left or the right but in this case we just say clear both sides so it's both like that and voila we are in business then what I want is inside this header again I want the font the text to be aligned in the center so text align will give it uh, a value of center like that and refresh and we have it there but now I want this text smaller than the one on top so I need to find a way to be able to uh, edit it by itself give it different styles so I'll just give it I'll just put a div inside it like that I'll put it inside a div rather so that I can give this uh, div some styles like that so let me just say font size and give it uh, 20 pixels okay and there we are looking pretty good but I want it to float a bit lower so I'll just add a break just before the same text I'll add another break at the beginning there so it goes down like that and it looking awesome so let's add uh, two images these two images in there and those are image five and six so let's do that right now so this is gonna be easy because we already have this image in there so let's just copy what we already have paste paste for both images like that okay let me put them in order but we don't need these tiles so let's delete them thank you very much let's create a class instead let's give them a class name let's name it small uh, underscore image like that so let me just copy this and uh, paste it right here small image so they have this class now this class doesn't exist yet so let's create it class we use a dot so let's say dot small image like that open bracket close bracket so let's put some stuff in there let's say a uh, small image who have a width of 100 pixels okay let's do that and refresh and you see right there we have two images with uh, 100 pixels uh, right there but if we look at the original they are closer to this side so which means they are floating so let's make them float okay let's make them float uh, left okay like that and voila they're floating but also we need them to be different images we need image five and six as discussed earlier like that yeah exactly so we just change the reference to the image now as you can see our 
this website is fully wide this one is not so let's deal with that now the thing that holds the entire thing is the wrapper so let's go and create styles for the wrapper so we do pound wrapper <coughs> we're using the hash or the pound because it's an id we are dealing with okay so uh, let's give it a width of 100 percent then let's give it one called max width meaning it shouldn't go beyond 1000 pixels like that let me put a semicolon here otherwise it won't work refresh and there we are it's much shorter now but it's not in the center so how do we get it in the center we give it a margin margin we give it a margin margin you can give uh, in terms of 100 pixels for example then that that will be the space uh, let's try that so you can see it 100 pixels you see it has a margin of 100 pixels all around but we want only to deal with the margin on the left so let's do margin left and refresh and you see there's a margin on the left of 100 pixels but that's not what we want either you can use pixels or you could use percentages like that but what we want is to tell it to do auto we want an automatic one so let me uh, just copy that again to the right side so if I give it an uh, auto margin on both sides, it floats to the center like that. Pretty awesome. So, so far so good. We are doing really well. Now it's time to do the songs below. So how do we do these? As you can see, these are just boxes. So we'll make divs to represent these guys. So let's do that inside the wrapper. So the wrapper ends here. So let's do something just under the, the header. So let's go div. That's the opening div tag closing div tag so let's name these uh, divs with an id of song so that we can uh, refer to them easily like that okay so let's give them styles now since this is an id we use pound like that or hash so let's give it some properties shall we now uh, these properties uh, for example the background color is uh, a slight blue okay so let's uh, start let's start with uh, width first width uh, 200 pixels let's do height like that uh, 300 pixels okay let's do background color RGB now the background color I want is a little bit bluish so let's go back to our paint uh, palette I want this blue right here so color picker blue click here but i want it slightly darker so i'll just go lower like that and so you see the values are 142 167 okay so the first one is one then 142 and one oh i forgot 167 okay 167 like that so let's view this right here and you see the box appear right down there pretty awesome isn't it but it's not leaving enough gap here so i wanted to leave some gap uh, or margin as we call it so let me add a margin let's say margin all around let's give it a margin of 20 pixels all around so it can be slightly in the middle like that okay pretty awesome so let's add some images in there so let's just copy what we have here <coughs> image one let's add this an image tag but uh, we want to add image one in this one so we want to use class small image let's give it another class you know let's create um, a new class called image let's just name it image why not if i do this without uh, adding any of that you see it covers the entire box and that's not what we want so let's define this class code so class starts with dot class image open bracket close bracket like that so let's start with the width we want to change the width to 100 percent okay refresh and there we go but we wanted to leave this uh, the image to leave a small space around it so what we do we deal with the song we deal with the entire box this box we give it a padding of uh, we can do it in two ways we can give them the, the the image a margin or we can give the song some padding so I will just do padding in this case of four pixels and there we are we have like a small line around it pretty awesome so let's give the the titles uh, of this let's add a break tag there let's matter of fact let's add two of these so that it moves a little bit lower and then let's put some stuff here let's say song uh, survivor hoping that's the right spelling 
Let me add a break and another break like that. Let's put something else called artist. Beyonce. Everybody know who this is though. Beyonce. Okay. Let me type some other text here like uh, 10 minutes ago. Like that's when it was posted. So let me add a break there. So let's see what we get with this. And there we go. You see some text down there. But it's not looking too good. We need the color to be white, for example. So let's go back to this um, song. Give it a color of white. RGB, 255. That's maximum. 255, 255. So when all three colors are at maximum, it's white. And there we go. The 10 minutes looks too big. So let's do something about that. So in order to deal with this, I'll just give it a div of its own as well. This text right here. Div, opening div right here. A closing div. Why am I giving it a div? So I can, uh, I want to be able to style it separately. So let me just do a style there and say font size is um, 11 pixels. The color, on the other hand, is black. Okay, this is getting too long here. So instead of giving it a style, let me give it a class. So I'll name this class time like that so that I can go here and create that class dot time like that. So that uh, the styles can look cooler here. So to start with the color, I want it black RGB zero, 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 because it's black, no color information at all. Font size though, I want this font size 11 pixels and then so let's check it out and yeah, that's pretty awesome but I want it to float on this side so I'll say text alignment text align like that right so to align itself to the right side let me refresh that and you see pretty cool but it's too far down so let me uh, just remove one of these uh, breaks here thank you very much break you are relieved of duty Eh, not really what I wanted, so let me just put it back. That's much better. So now that we have this, uh, let's make this text a little bit bold. So how do we do that? We put a B tag right there. B, opening B tag, closing B tag. Everything in there will be bold, as you can see right now. The font is rather a little bit big, so let me lower the font size in the song box. So let's go here and say... In fact, let me lower the font in the body. Let's say font size. Let's put it at 13 pixels like that so that the entire website has that font. Much better, looking much cooler. So let's copy these uh, songs, okay? Now the thing is, uh, these are not clickable yet. So what I can do to make it clickable right here on the div, I can put an A tag href like that. We already learned uh, how to do this a previous tutorial so let's put a closing closing a tag opening a tag so anything in between becomes a link okay so here you can put uh, whatever index.html whatever page you want it to link to so let's refresh and now it's clickable you see the mouse changes like that but one thing you can see is that uh, the clickable area has these lines now underneath them and then underneath the text so I, I want to remove these decorations so what I can do is go uh, go to the body copy uh, create another body opening and closing but this time I leave a space and put an A what this means is that all A tags in this body will have whatever I put here so I want text there's one thing called text decoration I want it none like that. Don't worry, we'll, we'll cover this in more detail in other tutorials. But you see these lines underneath here of all, on all links, they'll disappear as soon as I refresh the button so that it looks much cooler. So what we do now, let's copy all these uh, from the link down to the div. Oh, sorry, all everything here. Let me paste that again. Three. Paste. So how many of these have I done? Now, if you notice, uh, these are one, two, three, four. If you notice, they're going down. They're not coming to the right side. Why is this? Is because they're not floating. So let's go back to the song uh, style and make it float to the left. 
so all of them will float to the left like that pretty awesome now we need to change the images so let's just go down to each one of these and change the reference so this is the the first image uh, this is one that's fine so let's put two over there the this one we refer to 3.jpg this one we refer to 4.jpg so let's see that and voila we have different images on all these guys looking good so far the only thing missing is that the background is not showing anymore the wrapper itself so let's go to the wrapper uh, there right there let's give it a background image the background color sorry so now this one I want a deep a deep gray so I'll just put 50 uh, 50 50 uh, a tip for the grays you if you put similar numbers it's it's a gray you just differ how how dark or light but as you can see I can't see this gray the way I'm supposed to see it on this one that's because we have the same problem we had on the header where it was hanging and how did we solve that problem we went down here and added a break tag with a style of clear both so let's do the same thing let's copy that one but the one we want to deal with is the wrapper so let's the wrapper starts here and it ends right here at the very end so just before it ends we add this break with a style of clear both so let's see what that does and amen everything is working according to plan so if you compare these two websites they're exactly oh, kind of exactly the same so that's all for today hope you learned one of two things and you can go in and uh, change this text because not everyone here is Beyonce you can go and change this text uh, let me let me just do that for Chris Brown for example on number two so instead of uh, I can type something like uh, with you and let's say Chris Brown over there so if I refresh and you see there's different text here and there is different text so you can do the same for the rest of these guys but all in all what's important is the principles you've learned in this video so please apply them to whatever you're going to be doing and happy website creating please like comment and subscribe on this channel so you don't miss any future videos thank you for watching and goodbye